Hello everyone, my name is Sonia. Today we are going to discuss about preclinical evaluation phase and clinical trial phase. Preclinical trials or non-clinical trials are laboratory tests of a new drug substance or medical devices, usually done on animal subjects to see whether the treatment really works and if it is safe to test on humans. The main goals of preclinical studies are to determine product's ultimate safety profile. After identifying compound, it is tested on animals to expose the whole pharmacological profile. Experiments are generally performed on rodent like mouse, rat, guinea pig, hamster, rabbit. After successful result, experiments are performed on larger animals like cat, dog, monkey. As the evaluation progresses, unfavorable compounds get rejected at each step. Preclinical research may take anywhere from 1 to 6 years. Here we can see the image of drug discovery process. In early drug discovery phase contains 10,000 compounds. But in next phase, preclinical phase contains only 250 compounds because other compounds are rejected in Early drug discovery phase. Steps of preclinical phase. File for approval as an investigational new drug. Establish effective and toxic doses. Screen the drug in the assay. Develop a bioassay. Identify a drug target. Fully understanding the impact and complex interactions between the new drug and living systems is crucial. Preclinical studies are about testing a new drug in measurable ways to understand how it works in practice while building a clearer understanding of all biological reactions. The types of studies included in preclinical trials. First one is screening test. These are simple and rapidly performed tests to indicate presence or absence of particular pharmacodynamic activity. Test on isolated organs, bacterial cultures. These also are preliminary tests to detect specific activity such as antihistaminic, antisecretory, antibacterial, etc. Test on animal models of human disease. Animal models used such as kindled seizures in rats, genetically hypersensitive rats, experimental tuberculosis in mouse, etc. General observational test. Drug is injected in tripling doses to uh, small groups of mice which are observed for hidden effects. Preliminary clues are drawn from the profile of effect observed. Confirmatory test and analogous activities. Compounds found active are taken up for detailed study by more elaborate tests which confirm and characterize the activity. Other related activities also measured like antipyretic, anti-inflammatory activity in an analgesic. Mechanism of actions. Attempts are made to find out the mechanism of action. Systemic pharmacology. Irrespective of the primary action of the drug, its effect on major organ systems such as a nervous, cardiovascular, respiratory, renal are worked out. Quantitative test. The dose-response relationship, maximal effects and Comparative efficacy with existing drug is carried out. Pharmacokinetics The activity of drugs in the body over a period of time, including the processes by which drugs are absorbed, distributed in the body, localized in the tissues and excreted. Toxicity test Acute toxicity Single high doses are given to small groups of animals that are observed for overt effects and mortality for 1 to 3 days. The dose which kills 50 percentage animals is called LD50. Organ toxicity is examined by histopathology on animals. These whole tests are carried out under standardized procedure under good laboratory practice GLP. Good laboratory practice deals with the organization process and conditions under which laboratory studies are planned, performed, monitored, recorded and reported.
These practices are intended to promote the quality and validity of preclinical test data. Next is clinical trial phase. Clinical trial is a systematic investigation in human subjects for evaluating the safety and efficacy of an, any new drug. Clinical trials are a set of tests in medical research and drug development that generate safety and efficacy data for health intervention in human beings. Clinical trials are conducted only when Satisfactory information has been gathered on the quality of the non-clinical safety. Health authority or ethics committee approval is granted in the country where approval of the drug is sought. Importance of clinical trial A clinical trial is a research study that tests a new medical treatment or a new way of using an existing treatment to see if it will be a better way to prevent and screen for diagnose or treat a disease. Trials are said to be controlled if the effect of a treatment is measured against a comparison treatment administrated over the same time period and under similar conditions. These are the different types of clinical trials. Thank you.